Christ. Good morning again. We started at the Lowndes County Health Department our daycare and school audit training. Um, this is something that was done out of um, the IV office and infectious disease office where they went out to the daycares and verified certificates for immunizations in the daycare and schools. But now um, that charge has been turned over to Lowndes County Health Department. Each health department is required to go out and do these audits. So all of the uh, daycares that are in the system of Bright Start that is required to have the certificates available and at hand, um, we will now take on that responsibility. So we got trained and it started on May the 15th. We have about 100 daycares that we've got to yes, incorporate into this process for the summer, um, which has been a big charge. But one of the things that um, Bright Star did emphasize that we could split it in half. So we're going to do 50 um, between now and July 1 of the audits for the daycares. And then we'll go start into the school system in August, honoring their certificates as well. And then now that we're here, we're going to be incorporating the Meninja Crockle and the TDAP, all along with school food, and continue to run services here in the health department. So we've logistically been meeting heavily with the staff, and I look at it as a positive opportunity to keep that collaboration open within our daycares, because one of the things that I have noticed, this creates a relationship where when we say we got school flu available, vaccine to come into your daycare, uh, we purchased it for you, we got it available, they know who we are, it's the same people. So you, you're really establishing a, a bridge here, so it'll make it a little bit easier to go in and out of the schools and do what you have to do. So I'm looking at it and I present it to my staff as an opportunity to create a, a relationship that is a, a good, positive relationship. There's a lot of work, but we can do this. 